Lumiere brothers, Auguste and Louis, were pioneers in the improvement of photographic materials and process in the late 1800s and early 1900s. Using their scientific abilities and business talents, they were responsible for developing existing ideas in still photography and motion pictures to produce high-quality products that were practical enough to be commercial value. Their initial business success was manufacturing a dry photographic plate that provided a new level of convenience to photographers. The brothers later turned to less viable experiments with colour photography, producing a more refined but expensive method known as the autochrome process. The best known of the Lumia's achievements, however, was a cinematography system of projected motion pictures, their 1895 screening of a series of short films created with the cinematography at the Paris Café is considered for the first public cinema performance in history. George Meals When the first genuine movies made by the Lumiere brothers were shown in Paris in 1895, Meals, a professional magician and manager director of the theatre Robert Houdin, was among the spectators and the film was scenes from real life having the novelty of motion, but Meals saw at once their further possibilities. He acquired a camera, built a glass enclosed studio near Paris, wrote scripts, designed ingenious sets and used actors to film stories with a magician's intuition. He discovered and exploited the basic camera techniques, stop motion, slow motion, dissolve, fade out, superimposition, and double exposure. B. W. Griffith. He invented cross-cutting camera angles and parallel editing, multiple scenes taking place at the same time in the film's continuity, but in different locations. This technique is used to heighten tension and creative emotional responses with the audiences and also invented close-ups first used for psychological reasons these shots contain the actors shoulders and head in the frame not and not so much else of their body Edwin S Porter after the great train robbery Porter continued to try out the new techniques he presented two parallel stories in the kleptomatic in 1905, a film of social commentary like his technically more conventional film of 1904, The Ex-Convict in the Seven Ages, uh, which was made in 1905. He used side lighting, close-ups and changed shots within a scene, one of the earliest examples of a filmmaker departing from the the theatrical analogy of a single shot for each scene. Kulshov, he experimented and found out that the audience thought more emotional watching the sequence of images, so he applied more emotional connections rather than focusing on the pictures itself and how they looked. His most famous one is a man with a blank expression, then the camera changed to a bowl of soup and go back to the man, then to a little girl in an open coffin, then back to him, uh, still with a blank expression, and then to a woman. The reason why it is so famous is because it didn't show emotion, but the audience could tell what's wrong and if he's upset, hungry, and more emotions just from the sequence. Kulshov, he experimented and found out that the audience thought more emotional watching the sequence of images, so he applied more emotional connections rather than focusing on the pictures of itself and how they looked. His most famous one is a man with a blank expression, then the camera changed to a bowl of soup and go back to the man, then to a little girl in an open coffin, then back to him, uh, still with a blank expression, and then to a woman. The reason why it is so famous is because it didn't show emotion, but the audience could tell what's wrong, and if he's upset, hungry, and more emotions just from the sequence. Sergei Eisenstein. In 1920, Eisenstein moved to Moscow and began his career in theatre working for Paul Colt. His productions... There were entitled Gas Masks, Listen Moscow, and Wise Men. Eisenstein would then work as a designer for Vlos Vled Meyerhold. In 1923, Eisenstein began his career as a theorist by writing 
the montage of attractions for LEF Einstein's first film. Blue Moth's Diary was also made in the same year with the Ziger Vertov hired initially as an instructor.